Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. One of the simplest questions can be the most complex, and sometimes they don't have answers. We here at Life Noggin wanted to explore these questions in a series called Q and A. Let's start off with the big one. What is time? We have a pretty good idea of time. We use clocks to measure it, and it seems to pass by. But is time real? Well, that depends on who you ask. Some philosophers like Aristotle would say that time is relational. It's the measure of change. Imagine that everything in the universe stopped moving. All particles have come to a halt, and you are unable to experience the world around you. Would time still pass in such a universe? Sir Isaac Newton would say yes. He claimed that time and space will exist whether or not there are events that happen. He viewed time as absolute, meaning that someone on the North Pole would experience time the same way as someone on Venus, assuming of course that the person can survive intense heat. But there is a big issue here. Thanks to Einstein's theory of relativity, we know that not everyone experiences events in time the same way. Say that you see two flashes of lightning strike the ground at the same moment. To you, these events happen simultaneously, but to someone traveling close to the speed of light relative to the ground, one lightning flash may appear to happen before the second. In other words, an event in your present is in someone else's future. This contradicts presentism, which states that only the present moment is real and the past and future are not. So that lightning flash is both real and not real, which surely makes no sense. Instead, the block universe theory says that time is the fourth dimension, and the past, present, and future are all equally real. The present is just subjective. Of course, there are problems with this theory, and many other have tried to describe time and whether or not it is just in our minds. As of right now, we don't have any answers. But regardless of your philosophy about the future, we will hopefully have answers by then. Let me know what you think time is and what other answerless questions you would like me to talk about next. And let me know if you enjoyed this little series. I think it opens some pretty awesome discussion.